Hello and welcome back to Lorefact Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights 2. I'm your host Lorefact and in this Neverwinter Nights 2 build video we're doing the perfect dual wielding ranger which is a uh, class combination of the ranger, fire, and weapon master. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more builds like this. Do not forget the location bells to be update and more. Here are the pros and cons for this build video. Now the cons, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Your uh, ranger spell levels are going to be severely limited due to the fact your wisdom is not really up there. Number uh, two, this is a uh, slow moving uh, leveling process until, you guessed it, you uh, get to the weapon masters then things start still looking up. Once you uh, do get all the uh, ranger uh, feats that is involved in dual wielding tree, yeah, it'll be powerful, but that'll be for a while. Now, uh, another thing about the pros is very simple. Yeah, dual wielding. In other words, you're not going to need dex. You could go into strength and you get the uh, stuff that normally requires dex for a two weapon fight. And you get that for free if you pick the dual wielding path for the ranger. Another thing is high strength. You're going to be a powerhouse. Another thing is race. Yeah, you're not going to be limited unlike the uh, archer build I uh, did. One more thing. You're going to be a frontline beast. Seriously, that DPS is going to be really up there. That's about it for pros and cons. Let's talk about the races you can be for this build. The first race I'm going to go over are the Dwarven races. So let's get to the Gold Dwarves. They're all right, but the uh, minus two dexterity might be a deal breaker. So I say pass. As for the Gray and Shield Dwarves, they have pretty good stats. If you uh, love Charisma, I say pass, but still it's a nice race to have. But you're going to miss out on the extra feat. Now Elves, for the most part, are uh, good. Drought, they're really nice. Just the minus two constitution might be annoying. Moon Elf is uh, plus two dex, minus two constitution. Again, that's the only annoying part. Next part is Sun Elf. Uh, I'm going to probably say is it's uh, good with the plus two intelligence, but the constitution minus two is eh. Now, uh, Wild Elf, I'm going to pass because of minus two intelligence because uh, some feats do require 14 intelligence. Now, uh, Wood Elves are really good. You're going to miss out on the extra feat, but they're nice for uh, multi-classing as a ranger. Now, Gnomes, I'm going to be honest about both of them real quick. They blow. Yeah, they, since it's a strength build, minus two strength will put you uh, behind the eight ball, so pass. Same thing with the halflings on both, but if you want to challenge, go for a strong heart halfling. You get yourself an extra feat when you start out. That's the only good thing about them. Now, half elves, uh, no plus or minuses, no extra feat, but if you like them, go for it. Half orc, uh, they have good strength, minus two intelligence, minus two charisma. You have to make up on the intelligence department. Now, humans, they are perfect for this uh, build. No uh, plus or minuses in the stat department, and they have the one extra feat and some extra skills. Plain touch, uh, Asmar. Uh, those are actually nice, but they're more paladin-like, so I would pass on it. Tiefling, definitely go for it. The stats are really good. You're going to miss out on the extra feat, but you know what? Those stats are great. The uh, air one, no, they're not bad at all. I say if you want to go for it. Earth ones are really better. I say best out of the elemental uh, types. Fire is, uh, let's see here. Fire is not bad at all. Gives you that nice uh, plus two intelligence. Water is pretty uh, good if you want to go there too. Yanti, uh, pure blood. They're really nice. Just the extra uh, le leveling up and the uh, missing uh, extra feet. Gray arcs are uh, good. You'll have to make up in the intelligence department. That's the downside. I'm going to probably say go for human. Now, let's go over the classes. We're going to do some bouncing around. So, we start out as a ranger level 1. Then we do fire for 2 levels. If we, this was 40, I would squeeze the fire a bit more. After that, we do the ranger until the, you guess to the weapon master. And once you're done with the uh, weapon master, which is 7 levels, we go back to the ranger for the rest of the build video. And our goal is uh, level 21 for the ranger after that. Now, alignment, go for any. If you don't want to get smited, lawful neutral, neutral, or chaotic neutral is it. DAT, just pick whatever you want. I like this one for rangers. Now, ability points. First of all, we're going to get strength up to 16. That's our main stat. Dexterity, 14. Some feats require it. Constitution, 12. Intelligence, 14. Some feats will definitely require it. Wisdom, 12. Unfortunately, we have to keep at that. And Charisma, 10. So... Ideal is, is uh, strength 16, dexterity, intelligence 14, constitution 12, and then the last two, I should say, no, wisdom 12, and then uh, charisma 10. Strength is our main goal for this build. As for background, you don't want to get any penalties and skills, go for no background. Otherwise, I say the wild child is a very good one to uh, pick. I like that one anyway, so it has some uh, bonuses I, I will definitely use. Let's go ahead and get the skills. 
let's see here. Our main focus is uh, Diplomacy, uh, Tumble, and uh, Spellcraft. They're cross-class, but that's alright. However, as for the uh, non-cross-class skills, Hide, Move Silently, Search, and Spot. And then the uh, last skill, pick any that you uh, feel you want to use. I like to use Survival. I'll get that definitely to 18 at the end. Uh, the other, uh, what do we call it, class skills, they're going to be 33. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and do the uh, feats. What about Intimidation? Say, well, we'll take care of that in the fighter levels. As for favored enemies, always pick Undead first. Now, some people pick humans, but I prefer Undead. Because most of these campaigns in Neverwinter Tonight 2, you face off against the Undead. I am serious. It's a great uh, uh, favorite enemy feat for uh, Rangers to start out with. Now, we got some uh, feats. We got exactly two. I'm going to go ahead and select the first one. It's my uh, weapon focus. Now, if you pick exotic weapons, then you have to do is, is uh, play some serious catch-up. If you decide to uh, pick monkey grip and then exotic weapons, you're going to miss out on blind fighting. Yes, that on that. And number two, you're going to miss out on the uh, last optional feat. So, I decided to do weapon focus. That will give me a uh, bonus damage to a uh, weapon of uh, my uh, choice I picked. See, you get plus one on that, so I picked that weapon. It's a very good weapon. And the other one is Dodge. It's a huge prerequisite for, you guessed it, the Weapon Master. It'll start things off. My final advice is things will start to go slow, but after that, you may one powerful uh, beast. Just uh, pick Human uh, if you want that, of course, extra uh, feat. If not, I'll probably say Wood Elves. The the uh, two Dwarven races and some of the Elven races are really good. Yanti uh, Pure Blood is really nice too. Oh yeah, Wood Elves are uh, great for this build also. Let's uh, go ahead and level up our character. We're going to get the two fire levels right away and also out of the way too. So let's go ahead and pick the uh, fighter class. Let's select that. First thing we're going to go ahead and uh, choose is Intimidation. Put five points into that. That will lock us in for the skill department for the Weapon Master. Now, if you don't pick Diplomacy and use Intimidation instead, <laughs> just pick some extra points into that. We're going to pick Mobility. Now, at this point, if you uh, did the Exotic Weapons or the Monkey Griff or both, then uh, you have to pick Dodge. But Mobility, if you do it like I do, you'll get there uh, much quicker as a Weapon Master. So we're going to go ahead and pick the Fire one more time. I'm going to put some points in Diplomacy. Let's see what else I'm going to put into Yeah, Yeah, let me uh, make sure that's right. Yeah, I was about to do that, but I'm going to say, uh, wait, let's see. Yeah, hide, move uh, silently, uh, tumble, and then uh, Diplomacy. I will get Spellcraft uh, to uh, catch us up. And there you go. And let's see here. One more feat. We're going to select actually two. Uh, first one we're going to pick is uh, Combat Expertise. At this point, it's your Dodge and Mobility or uh, combat expertise and dodge. In my case, it's going to be uh, combat expertise and blind fighting. Also, or uh, combat expertise and weapon uh, focus. But if you're going my path, you should be picking combat expertise and blind fighting. Now, combat expertise, when you hit that, you gain 3 AC. Your attack rolls suffer. That's the only downside. Upside is it's another gateway you uh, guessed it to the weapon master. Blind fighting is like this, uh, your uh, foes are invisible, won't have advantages against you. It'll be like even ground, which is very good. And that's about it for the fire class. It is time to go back to leveling up. You guessed that the ranger class, at this point you should start uh, definitely uh, dual wielding. Pick strength since it's level 4. So every uh, level's a 4, pick all strength. Now some uh, serious time to uh, go ahead and catch up on uh, some uh, class skills. I'm going to go ahead and do a hide, move silently. If I can, uh, spot and of course uh, search. And if I uh, cannot, I'll have to uh, improvise. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, get the spellcraft in a bit. I just want to make sure I get some of these uh, class skills out of the way at least. And there you go. And now pick two weapon fighting st uh, combat style. That's what this build is all about. Now we're going to go ahead and get some free feats from here on out as long as we uh, get the ranger levels. If we get all 21 ranger levels, we get all the uh, two weapon fighting feats. Now uh, two weapon fighting is just like the regular feat. Uh, you're, you get the penalty uh, when you uh, use offhand weapons and such. And if you have uh, lighter weapons like daggers for instance, that penalty drops dramatically, especially for the offhand weapons. Me, I have uh, a normal uh, martial weapon so I'll get penalized but that penalty will go away eventually. So pick the usual suspects, make sure you uh, definitely, uh, if you can, pick a uh, tumble, 
diplomacy and also uh, spellcraft if you want to. Let me uh, go ahead and do the, that. Yeah, let me uh, make sure if I can. If not, I'll do the next level. Toughness. Okay, toughness is like this. You get one extra hit point per level. This is retroactive. This uh, feat is seriously useful for some of the uh, lower hit point classes. As for the ranger, you get that for free. So don't ever uh, pick it if you're cross-classing like crazy. Go from one class to another. Uh, usual suspects, if you could do with the uh, cross-class skills, go ahead. If not, that's all right. And yeah, I'll eventually get that spellcraft down the line. And there you go. Let me uh, go ahead and finish this up. And I'm going to put a point in survival. Now, uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, get where's that at. Uh, where's that? Spring attack. So when you get spring attack, uh, you do not get attacked to opportunity no longer when you're running around the battlefield. For this class, it's really useful. And your ammo companion, you get to summon one. Now, I did a test run this build and accidentally picked up the name Sith. Guess what? I'm keeping it. Besides, the panther will uh, tell me the dark side of force is uh, great, which is 100% true. Let's go ahead and level up the ranger class some more. Uh, diplomacy... Uh, if you can, uh, of course, uh, tumble and uh, sp uh, spellcraft. Yeah, I'll get to uh, that eventually. And then uh, get your high move silently. Uh, focus on uh, those two for the uh, main uh, class skills. Yeah, let me uh, go ahead and put the points into that. At this point, we got uh, one extra saving throws against spells. Uh, tumble five more points. We'll get one extra armor class. Favorite enemies. Uh, for the second one, I like to pick humans. At this point, you're going to be facing quite a bit of humans. Yeah, they're the ones that say, give me your money or your life. Well, you get to kill them. We get extra damage against humans, and I'm a human. Which is pretty funny. Now, let's level up. So, put all your points into strength. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Everything into strength. Now, if you uh, can for your cross-class skills, diplomacy, tumble, and spellcraft, go ahead and do so. If not, get that high, move silently, search, spot, and then if you uh, can last... Get that survival unless you don't like survival then you can pick something else like for example craft weapons that's a good option but i usually uh, let someone like san in original uh, campaign or a nice uh, r uh mage in the uh sequel to original campaign or uh, one of my uh, own i uh korea that's a wizard okay we get uh improved two weapon fighting so our second attack we get now which is nice but the we get minus five on attack rolls that's the only uh downside Upside is the extra attack is really nice to have. So we're all set up. We're going to go ahead and uh, do some leveling. And let's uh, do it. Last time level up the ranger for a while. You're asking, why is that Lord Fenton? Well, as soon as we get Whirlwind, what's going to happen is we will have to class, uh, change classes again. It's a prestige class. So it's a great thing. You definitely want to get in this prestige class. It's seriously important. There you go. Just put the points I want to feel like it's in there. Whirlwind. Now, when foes surround you, you pop this baby and let the good times roll. It's all right, but at times uh, you will uh, definitely get great cleave down the line, and you don't need to uh, worry about that anymore. Now, uh, Woodland Stride. Uh, that does is is uh, uh, you move 10% uh, faster while you're outdoors or in outdoor areas. Pick the Weapon Master Prestige class. That is next. So what we're going to do is try to do is uh, Diplomacy. If not, we'll put some points in the high, even though it's cross-class. And, uh, of course, uh, move silently. And we get uh, two things free. First of all, weapon of choice. So our weapon-focused weapons now are our main uh, weapon focus for the uh, Weapon Master class. Kai damage this uh, feat does is when you use it, you do a maximum attack to your opponent. So, for example, if your weapon's 1 through 10 damage, you'll do 10 damage every time. Of course, there's modifiers that'll boost that up. Just remember that. So let's level up once again, and let's see here. Weapon Master. Uh, pick the usual suspects for the skills for the cross class. Diplomacy, Spellcraft, and Tumble. Yeah, Diplomacy is really useful in Neverwinter Nights too. It helps big time in the uh, campaigns. So we'll keep on going on the Weapon Master. You're going to start noticing some very good feats down the line you're going to get. Put your points into strength. That is seriously important, everyone. I mean, come on. Common sense there. Let's see here. Yep, you got. If you can't do cross class, go ahead and do a high move silently. Now, what we're going to do is uh, improve critical on your uh, weapon focus uh, weapon. Mine, for example, uh, will uh, definitely get a better threat range. So, for example, it's 18 through 20. That goes down drastically. So, 18 through 20, that's base uh, weapon. 
Now, uh, if you uh, look at it on the uh, character sheet, it's now 15 through 20. At the three point drop, which is good. So the dice roll, you for now on, you roll 15 through uh, 20, which are a weapon focus. And by the way, Weapon Master, there's another feat that actually helps out much better in that range. Uh, let's see here. Get your uh, cross class, if not your class skills. We're going to go ahead and level up the Weapon Master. Sorry, no feats from the last one. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do, if I can, uh, nope, I'll just do the hide move silently and that's it. We get two things now. Superior Weapon Focus. First of all, we get one extra uh, attack damage with our uh, Weapon Focus weapon. It's a good thing. It's another damage that adds to our favor. And of course, if we have four attacks per round, well, that gets plus one for each of those attacks. Increase multiplier. So for example, if this weapon is 2x, it now does three times the damage if it lands a critical hit. Very great to have, by the way. Now we'll level up the Weapon Master once again. And let's uh, keep on doing. We're going to get our cross-class skills, diplomacy, tumble, and spellcraft. We're closing in on uh, Diplomacy, of course, at, uh, I mean, uh, Tumble at uh, 10. You get an extra one extra armor class, which is good. Now we get ourselves another uh, feat. I'm going to do Power Attack. This is a uh, one that you do is uh, 3 damp plus damage. However, your attack rolls is minus 3. Good news is this is also a gateway feat to Cleave and Great Cleave. So let's keep on going on the leveling up. Uh, let's pick Weapon Master. Strength. Put your points in the strength. I mean, come on. It is extremely important at this uh, point. We're already at 20 strength. We're not even in the uh, epic levels yet. That's a good sign. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put high move silently and we get Kai Critical. Now what's nice about Kai Critical is uh, this. It drops our uh, uh, critical uh, dice roll even lower. So instead of, for example, 15 through 20, we uh, get a minus 2 on that, which is now 13 through 20. I call it a win-win situation, and that is it for the Weapon Master Prestige class. For the rest of this build video, we're going to the Ranger class, non-epic and epic level. So let's select that. If we can do uh, Diplomacy, we're going to do that. Also, uh, Tumble and, uh, of course, uh, Spellcraft. Now, because at 10 Tumble, we get one free AC point. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and try to catch up on Leasley Hide and move silently. Focus on that first. Then search and spot if we uh, can after we do the cross class skills. Survival. Now, Swift Tracker. Uh, tracking will always be on and you will not move slow every time when you're tracking a foe. That is really nice, though. I mean, it's really uh, good. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. No longer you'll be slowed down by uh, tracking for certain foes to hunt down and beat down. They'll be beat right there automatically if they appear on their mini map radar. So let's go ahead and pick the uh, skills uh, cross class if you can. If not, focus on your class skills. And at this point, I believe I got my move silently high on caught, caught up. So we're going to try to get spot and search there next. We get ourselves another feat, cleave. No, cleave is like this. You kill one foe, then you attack the next foe. The second foe you, uh, you kill or not, it stops there. This is a gateway to great cleave. Evasion. So when you uh, get a successful uh, reflex save, you no longer take half the damage, you take no damage. That's a free feat for the Ranger. So let's keep on going with the Ranger class. Uh, diplomacy, Tumble, and Spellcraft. Let's go ahead and get those. Uh, next up is a uh, Hide. Let's put a point into that. Move silently, and if we can, get Search and Spot up there. I use that in case I look for secret doors or hidden enemies to uh, abuse. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, get another uh, set of uh, foes to destroy Constructs. They're uh, somewhat common. You can also do Outsiders too. Both are great choices. I like to pick this one better. The epic levels, demons are much more tougher. So that'll be down the line. Don't worry about that. Let's keep on going with the Ranger class. Strength. Put your points in your strength. That's right. We're going to get to 26 strength by the time this build video is over with. Unbuffed. So let's uh, go ahead and do uh, Hide. Move silently since we can't do the cross class skills. And catch up on those uh, very nice... Uh, uh, other uh, skills too. Search and of course spot too. Let's see if we could try to do that. That looks uh, very good. And there we go. Now we get greater uh, two weapon fighting style. We get a third attack per round with our uh, offhand weapon. But that's at a minus uh, 10 disadvantage. But still that is pretty good. And it's the final gateway to you guessed it. Two, uh, perfect two weapon fighting. If our uh, 
ranger level is 21 which we will get at this uh, build video very easily towards the end so let's uh, level up now you guessed it the epic ranger so we're now officially in the epic levels for 10 levels we're doing the ranger class so let's uh, select diplomacy yeah let's do that tumble and spellcraft and if we uh, can we'll put some uh, d uh, definite points into you guessed it hide and move silently and let's go ahead and put a point in the search and uh, spot too. Now what we're going to do is uh, Great Cleave. We're going to get that out of the way. So Great Cleave is like this. When you kill a foe, the next attack, if that attack kills another foe, then it keeps on going until you uh, don't kill the other foe or all foes are dead. It has to be close range. That's a disadvantage. But it's a great feat to have. I mean, come on. We're going to go ahead and uh, get our uh, class skills. If we can't get our cross class, we'll catch up, uh, of course, search and spot or attempt to uh, do that. Where's that at? There you are. And no, Neverwinter Nights 2, you cannot store uh, skill points. Doesn't work that way. Camouflage. So uh, here's the deal about camouflage. Uh, uh, this does is uh, when you're outdoors and you're uh, in stealth, you do not suffer uh, reduced movement at all. This only works outdoor areas, which is good. Oh, there's another feat, by the way, that does uh, involve hide too. We'll get to that in a few moments down the line. Let's go ahead and level up uh, cross-class skills, spellcraft, diplomacy, and tumble. After that, we'll focus on uh, move silently and hide. We'll catch up on the other ones easily. Now, we're going to start focusing on great strength. We're going to try to get that to 26. That means when you can pick great strength, you get one point in strength. That is pretty good. It helps out uh, getting certain strength feats, too. There's also other uh, attribute point uh, abilities like that that helps out, too. Let's do the ranger class. Put your point in the strength. I mean, come on. This is a uh, strength build. This is uh, one of uh, two uh, last time you could uh, put points in there every uh, four levels. So let's uh, get our uh, hide, move silently, search and spot up there. And yeah, we're going to start to seriously catch up with that. A few levels and uh, spot and search will be definitely be all caught up. Let's uh, go ahead and select that. Favorite enemies. We're going to do outsiders. Now, Neverwinter Nights 1, dragons were more common. Neverwinter Nights 2, dragons are really big. They're not that common. So I would say pick Outsiders because they're a lot more common in uh, the expansion. So let's keep on going with the Ranger class. Select that. Let's see here. Diplomacy. Uh, where's that at? Tumble. Spellcraft. We'll select those. And uh, if we can't spot, uh, hide and move silently. Let's uh, go ahead and select those. We should be able to catch those up sooner or later. Let's put that 26, and there we go. We get ourselves another feat. Put that point in the strength. I mean, come on. Let's uh, do that. Where is that at? Come on. There you, we uh, go. Great strength. There you have it. Let's uh, keep on going and keep on leveling up our uh, character some more. Pick the Ranger class. Uh, if you can't do cross class, focus on getting the class uh, skills and try to catch most of them up. Mainly the uh, top four. And there, we got uh, most of them caught up. High in plain sight outdoors. It's like the uh, Shadow Dancer one, except for it only works in outdoor areas. You could go in and out. You could use that to hide if you're in trouble. And if, if folks can't spot you, just drink your potion and then uh, attack again. Let's level up the Ranger level, Diplomacy, uh, let's see here, Spellcraft, and Tumble. And we'll put some points in, of course, into uh, Move Silently, Hide. And if we uh, can, let's uh, go ahead and do spot and search. And there you go. And let's see what else we're going to uh, get this time. Oh, yeah. We're going to get another uh, feat for, in uh, strength. So put your uh, great strength plus three. This will be your third and final great strength we're going to put up. Because next time we get a strength point, it'll be level 28. Let's pick the ranger class. Strength. So now that's at 26. You want everything even in the stat numbers. And we just did that, so what we're going to do is hide, move silently, search and spot. If we can't put any other points in the cross class, start doing survival. Or your uh, fifth skill, you will uh, pick that as not cross class. Sorry, no feats for this level, so let's keep on going with the ranger class. Let's put diplomacy, uh, tumble, and of course, uh, uh, spellcraft. That's the last time you do your cross class skills. So we're going to put the uh, class skills in. We're going to start focusing on... Uh, Getting uh, most of them are at least the top four maxed out to 33. Now we get the final favorite Emni, and we're going to pick Elementals. I felt like those are really common too. They're great to uh, select. 
Now we're going to go down the line. This one's optional. You could do his overwhelming uh, critical hits. That's a good one. Epic Proudness is nice. Power Critical is good. Or if you want to, get your own dinosaur pet. I like to pick this one, even though uh, Undead will not be a critical hit. Non-Undead will be destroyed by this. There we go. Let's level up once again. We should be definitely at uh, level 20. Uh, I should say level 30. That's Ranger level 21. Last time, put your skill points in. So go ahead and do so. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put the rest of the points in the survival. Let's uh, do that. And there we uh, have it. And we get a free feat automatically. Perfect two weapon fighting. So your uh, main hand and your off hand are exactly the same. So that is really good. No penalties, no nothing like that. And with that, the Ranger class leveling is done. Time to talk about gear and stat advice in Neverwinter Nights 2. If you need to uh, get, for example, uh, plus 10 strength on items, you cannot do 8 plus 1. No, it'll uh, take a 8 as the highest. Instead, you have to look for an item with the actual uh, number, for example, 10. So for uh, ability points, uh, you're going to need a strength. Dex and con is good. Wisdom is nice uh, too. If you could get any immunity stuff, go for that. Keen your weapon up. Uh, damage bonus asset and sonic is really uh, good another good factor is is uh, true seeing on weapons and haste if you can haste up uh, that too improve evasion is nice on armor other than that if you need uh well we call saving throws go for uh, that if you want some skill uh, up then definitely go for that especially uh tumble that'll be real nice to uh boost that up with uh items so uh this way for example if it's at 16 on uh natural then you get plus four is at 20 that's one free ac that is it for uh gear advice and stat advice too so let's do the combat portion of the video it's time for the combat portion of this build video so we're gonna go ahead and face off against folks we could definitely do critical hits against in other words the very useful overwhelming critical hits plus some other feats too Buff up as you always go along, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do a raiding party of, you guessed it, Lizardmen, or lizard folk. Here's the deal, you're mainly a frontline fighter, unless there's a tank, then send the tank in first. If you have anybody in your party buff you up, go ahead and do so, otherwise potion up. Now, you see right away, Great Cleave is in action. I just cleared out a whole uh, bunch of lizard uh, men and uh, lizard folks around me. If you could definitely go after casters, do so. Uh, go ahead and use that nice weapon master ability. It can shred up foes real bad. It looks like it didn't do it at all. Sometimes it uh, connects, sometimes it doesn't. But still, look like the uh, battle's already over. So you're asking the uh, big old question, which is, hey, Lord Finn, weapons if I'm facing against foes that are immune to critical hits are immune to my uh, weapon critical hits. Well, this build works great with it. Now, in this case... Since I do have favorite enemy uh, undead, I get to shred them in pieces. In fact, if I remember correctly, four of the, uh, f uh, I think it's the, uh, what call it? most of my uh, favorite enemy uh, uh, I, I do I did pick, by the way, was uh, had uh, foes or immune to critical hits, undead, outsiders, constructs, and of course elementals. Now humans, you could critical hit against. So in other words, four out of five is pretty good, I say. So let's uh, go ahead and try to tear this lich apart. And yeah, it just went down. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm just really uh, wrecking foes like crazy. And yeah, just uh, make sure you have the undead surround you. You're going to do normal damage, but it is uh, good damage. So if you keep on getting those great cleaves like crazy, you get to annihilate foes. A few more hits against them and that's it. And yeah, if you're facing undead, you have a cleric with you. Allow them to uh, turn undead if they run. You just chase them down and beat them down. And that is it for the combat portion of this video. Here's my final advice before I uh, do end the uh, build video. You're going to start out slow, but once you become a weapon master, things will start rolling real quickly. Once you uh, get through the epic levels, you become much more powerful. Just remember my uh, gear advice. You'll uh, do uh, well. You're a frontline fighter, but if there's a tank, let them tank. Then you go in just rip things apart. Other than that, uh, just have a good time with this uh, build. This is it from my Neverwinter Nights 2, the perfect dual wielding ranger uh, build, which is a ranger, fighter, and weapon master build. This is La Laura Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night, and please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more guides, 
builds and other videos from Neverwinter Nights too. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the view.